In this video, I will simulate turbulent flow through 90 degree vent. Create the geometry in ANSYS space claim. Match the geometry in fluent meshing mode and find out the pressure drop and validate the solution. First, we will select a long radius 90 degree elbow from standard sizes from any manufacturer. Let us select a, a long radius 90 degree elbow with nominal pipe size of 3 inches. The inside pipe diameter for this elbow is 3.07 inch and arc radius is 4.5 inches. The velocity at the inlet is equal to 2 meter per second and the length of the upstream pipe is kept at 5 times of diameter of pipe and downstream length of the pipe has been kept at 9 times of the diameter. Air is used as the working fluid these upstream length and downstream length are added to the elbow to, to make the flow fully developed. With the help of this data, we can find out the Reynolds number, which is equal to almost 10,000. So we can say that the flow inside the pipe is fully turbulent. Now the first step is to create the geometry and then we will specify the boundary conditions. Open ANSYS workbench, double click the fluid flow, fluent with fluent meshing. Then double click the geometry button to open the, up the ANSYS space claim. First we will select the plane, go to this button, select new sketch plane and select the XY plane. Then click on this button, plane view. Now we will change the units, go to file, space claim options, change the units from metric to imperial. Now we will draw a line. The length of the line will be equal to the arc radius which is equal to 4.5 inches. Press escape button two times. Then we will create another line starting from the origin having length of 4.5 inches. Now we will collect a rounded corner. Select this line and after that select this other line. It will create a arc with radius of 4.5 inches. Now we will create the pipe cross section go to this select new sketch plane button and select this edge when this top plane x z plane is highlighted at this point we will create a circle and select this point we will create a circle having diameter of 3.07 now we will extrude this circle along this line for this first click the end sketch editing button tab here the pull option is automatically highlighted select this surface click on this button sweep and then select this line after this click on this button up to and then select this edge so 90 degree bend has been created now we will add the upstream and downstream length of pipes select this surface and ensure that the pull button is highlighted then we will pull this surface having length of 9 times of the diameter which is equal to almost 27 inches. Now select this surface, ensure that the pull button is on and now we will pull this surface equal to 5 times of the diameter which is equal to almost 15 inch. Now we will rename the boundaries of this fluid domain. Go to this select button, select this surface and go to this group tab and then go to create name selection. We name this surface as inlet. Select this surface and rename is and rename it as outlet. Now we will mesh the geometry. Now double click on the mesh button, select double precision. It will open ANSYS fluent in the meshing mode. First we will import the geometry. Then we will add local sizing and generate the surface mesh by keeping the default settings. The next task is to describe the geometry. Our geometry consists of only fluid regions. So we will select this option. The next task is to update geometries. We confirm that we confirm that our inlet is the velocity inlet and outlet is pressure outlet, which is correct. The next task is to update the regions. We confirm that this domain 
that we have created is the fluid domain so this is correct the next the next task is to add body layers here we increase the number of layers at the wall equal to 20 the final task is to generate the volume mesh click on generate the volume mesh zoom in and view the mesh at the wall we can see that at the wall the mesh is very fine now meshing is complete now click on this switch to solution button for the final solution in ansys fluent it will open ansys fluent in the solution mode first go to the physics tab then click on viscous here we can select the suitable turbulence model according to the flow conditions as our flow was turbulent flow and having Reynolds number equal to 10,000 so by default a uh, turbulence model k omega has been selected so we will keep the default settings and click ok first we will confirm that our material is air we can change the material from this fluent database next go to cell zones and confirm that for our solid domain the material air is selected then click on this boundaries button to specify the inlet and outlet boundary conditions first select inlet confirm that it is a velocity inlet then click edit enter velocity magnitude equal to 2 meter per second now click on the outlet and confirm that it is a pressure outlet now go to solution tab then click on the residuals then change the convergence criteria for continuity residual 1 times 10 raised to power minus 6 these are the six equations that will be solved by the fluent solver and this is our mathematical model for this problem then initialize the solution by keeping the hybrid method then enter 500 iterations and then click calculate the calculation is complete and solution is converged after 185 iterations now we can analyze some potential results go to results tab first we will create a plane to visualize the pressure contours and velocity vectors click on plane rename this plane by my plane and specify this plane by xy plane this plane will be placed right in the mid section of this pipe then click create now click on the contours then select my plane then click save and display we can also view the velocity contour we can change we can select the velocity from here and select my plane and then click on save display if we zoom in and see the velocity contour we can see that at this point the flow is separated from the surface and it rejoins the surface after traveling some distance along the pipe in this uh, region there is a back flow which can be confirmed by viewing the velocity vectors to view the velocity vectors go to vectors and click on my plane then click save display if we zoom in to this portion we can see the back flow here you can see the back flow area in this region near the wall the flow is circulating and turbulence is high in this region now we will calculate the pressure drop in the band now go to units and in the quantities select length we will specify the length in inches now we will measure the pressure drop in the 90 degree pipe band for that purpose go to result tab click on create a plane rename this plane as upstream specify this plane by zx plane and enter a distance of 4.5 inch this is the point where the band is starting we have created a plane at the starting point of the band now we will create a plane at the ending point of the band for that purpose rename this new plane as downstream and specify it by yz plane enter a distance of 4.5 inches and then click create it will create a plane at the ending point of the 90 degree band go to reports double click surface integrals in the report type select area weighted average then in the field variables select pressure and total pressure then select upstream and then click compute the pressure at the upstream surface is 3.86 pascal now select downstream and deselect the upstream and then click on compute the area weighted pressure at the downstream plane is 3.45 the difference between these two pressures is equal to 0.4 pascals 
So pressure drop in the 90 degree band is around 0.4 pascals. Here total pressure is the sum of static pressure and dynamic pressure. Now we will do some hand calculation to validate our NC solution. We have uh, this formula of pressure drop in a pipe band where KL is the loss coefficient and this loss coefficient is equal to 0.2 for 90 degree long radius length elbow. So by calculation we have pressure drop value equal to 0.49 pascal and from NCS we have obtained a result of 0.4 pascal which is very close to our hand calculation. So our solution is validated. Thank you for watching this video. In my coming videos, I will present few more examples to calculate the minor losses in piping systems.